In GrandMA 3 version 2.0, we have a real highlight in the workflow of timecode shows. Let's see how it works. We can have a sound pool and in the sound pool, we can import sound files. We can play it back directly on executors. And the great thing is we can assign this to our timecode show now. So what we do is we enter the setup of our timecode window in the top right corner. Here we can create a new track. So at the end of our tree structure, we say new track. And in this case, I want to move the track to the top of my list. So I move track eight and put it directly on top as the new track number one. This track now helps us to assign the sound file directly to the timecode. So we can use this sound file from the sound pool, use the swipey or assign key to assign it directly to the track. And what you can see is now the waveform of the sound file. So this of course helps you to place your markers or your events properly depending on the change of the waveform. It is a graphical representation of what happens to your song and it will help you dramatically in the workflow of putting the markers to the right place. Additionally, once you play back the timecode show, the sound file will play back automatically there as well. Have a look at the timecode settings as well in version 2.0. There are a lot of enhancement and improvements to the timecode workflow. Have fun with the programming of timecode shows.